Let's take a look at customizing Adobe Bridge's workspace. Under File is Browse in Bridge. When I launch Bridge, it has the Essentials workspace, which is nice, but I think it doesn't take the best advantage of my screen territory. If I click on an image, I get a preview here on the right. However, it would be wonderful if that preview was much bigger so I didn't have to open every single file in Photoshop. And I use the metadata panel to see the date created, the date modified, file size, and a lot more helpful information. So what I'm going to do is combine all of my panels on the right into one spot. In fact, if I look at my bridge workspace, I've already done a little customization. Under my window menu is Workspace and Reset Standard Workspaces. If I click the Maximize button, which on the Mac is a green plus at the top left, and on Windows is on the top right. Mac and Windows, I always equate to Venus and Mars, <laughs> men and women, they're just opposites. So once I've maximized, here is a tinier preview window and metadata. And what I'm going to do is drag the word preview down on top of filter and collections. And when I let go, now I've got a nested panel group. So filter, collections, preview. If I do the same with the metadata panel, Metadata is extra data about your file stored in your file. I'll drag the word metadata on top of preview and the word keywords on top of that. And now this extra space on the right can be collapsed. I can simply drag this darker gray line far right until I have more room for the content section of Bridge. To finish off, I don't use the Favorites view that much. I prefer the Folders view because nothing needs to be copied into Bridge, moved into Bridge. Bridge simply points to spots on your hard drive. So on my desktop, in the Project Files folder, is the Chapter 3 Customizing Photoshop. And these are the images I'm looking at. To see more detail, if I can see a little bit of the word preview, I'll click it once. And I usually like my preview window to take up about half of my screen. So I'll drag halfway over, and you'll notice the preview got much larger. If I take the middle up, now I can see a lot more detail. So if I click on each photo, I get a better view of what's in that photo. And if I want to see the turtles on a log, I can click once in the preview window and it brings up the loop tool. The loop tool will let me use my wheel on my mouse to zoom in. And my wheel's going pretty fast. But if you don't have a wheel on your mouse, if you're using a trackpad, you could simply hit the plus sign on your keyboard to zoom in and the minus to zoom out. And that loop window will let you click on many different spots to see if that was a turtle there. <laughs> it looks like it may be. Or just a piece of the log. And if I want to make the loop window go away, I can click once in the middle of it. Or if I brought it up by clicking somewhere in the background to see the people on this little paddle boat, the X in the lower right corner will make it disappear. And this is how I like my bridge window. About half of the screen for preview. And in the content area, I want to see larger thumbnails. Thumbnail is the nickname for these color previews. So down at the bottom right, I can slide my thumbnails up. And I usually like four across. Now, if you're on the Windows platform, it typically shows folders first and then files. So on the Mac, it often sorts alphabetically, 
but I think I changed mine to sort by date created. So if I go back to view, sort, I can choose by file name, and now it's alphabetic. So here is my favorite bridge workspace. And to keep it like this all of the time, I will choose Window, Workspace, New Workspace. And when I make a new workspace, I'll just type my name, insert your name here. So I typed Kelly and I hit OK or Save. And now Kelly is here in the Workspace Switcher. Or I could choose Window, Workspace, Kelly. If I want to see other workspace choices, there is the film strip view, which is great with a super large preview area, and you could still use the loop tool. And I could still use the wheel on my mouse to zoom in, or out, or plus and minus, and clicking in the middle of the loop tool makes it disappear. But I'll go back to Window, Workspace, Kelly, and Bridge will stay in this arrangement until I delete my preferences or until I switch to another workspace. So feel free to arrange your panels so they're most useful for you. I like most of my panels in one spot on the left, the folders where I'm getting my files, or my hard drive and any mounted servers or other volumes will show up here at the top left. Finally, I have my content window where I can make the previews bigger or smaller, but I aim for four across. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of how Kelly likes her bridge workspace arranged so it's the most efficient and useful for me.